You okay? Hey, Morgan. You ever miss Austria? Sometimes, I suppose. So, what do you think? I think we're fine. Fine? Well, given the circumstances. Evening, I heard things got Evening. nasty on that ferry. You could say so. And that won't lead to more repercussions? Eventually, yeah, but like I said, we will keep moving. What do you think, Arthur? I don't know. We're here now. We make the best of it and move on. Exactly. <sighs> what? Well, right in these Dutch, there's not so many places to hide this way. We will think of something. We always do. You always do. I need you strong now, my brother. I'm trying. Oh, sorry, friend. Hey there. Arthur? So, what happened with the girl on that boat, the one in all the papers? We did what we had to do to get out of there. End of discussion. Okay. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay, Arthur. How you feel? Stronger for sure. But not strong enough to work. I'll be back in action soon. Just give me another day or so. Well, I suppose I should be getting on. Yep. Could use some space, Arthur. Sorry, I uh, don't know what's with me today. You ain't right in the head. Right there, Morgan. Yep. Good to see you. All right. You okay? Hey, y'all. Hiya. How are you, Jack? Here you was sick? A little bit, but Uncle Hosea gave me some medicine. Okay, good. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Let me know if you find candy. How you gentlemen keeping? Sorry for interrupting, but I can't stay much longer over there. I mean... I love the girls, but my lord, they complain a lot. 
I mean, I've known worse than this. I was born into worse than this. Most of us grew up hungry and scared and alone one way or another. And here, we've usually got food and we usually ain't scared. I mean, sometimes. And we ain't never alone. Not here. Quite the opposite. So I'm done with the whining. I know we had a scene in the mountains, but we're over that. It's time to cheer up. All of you. Might as well rest while you can. Good evening. There he is. Evening. How you feel? A little better. Are you there? Miss O'Shea. I just heard that Adler woman wants to cut your dick off and feed it to her horse. Don't do this, please. The old you would have had this place ship shape in a day. You're being a real idiot, Arthur. Told her wouldn't make much of a meal. Enough now, please. When are you gonna stop with this? I wouldn't sleep too deep if I was you. For the love of God, that's enough! Evening. Hey. You'll be back on your feet in no time. I sure hope so. Mr. Pearson. Mr. Morgan. You know, too many folk around here take you for granted. Well, that's nice of you to say. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Hey, you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? <laughs> sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. <sighs> You gonna take the old man into town? You can take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take mm -hmm. them a robin. You're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. You <laughs> ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Yep. Couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Sure, no problem. Thanks. It's the white one over there. Here. Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. Decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. 
Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. Take a good look around, ladies. Let's see what we got here. Partner. Howdy. Good day, dear. Hello. That old Go guy. left here, down the main street. There's always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a young man's man. That's a harsh man. Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. Just like I said, the cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self-respected maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble. Don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm, then rats with the plague, then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Morning. So, what do you need? <laughs> Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Let me know if you have any questions, fellers. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. You not getting anything, Arthur? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? The lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Now I know what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. All done. Thank you kindly. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. That should do us. Let's go wait for them outside.
Don't surprise me none. Oh, here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house. Acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to Saint Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out in there in New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? Uh, I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me! Get off of me! Get your hands off of her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey. Hey, take it easy. There's no problem here. There will be if you don't get out of here right now. You're making a big mistake. Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you right now. 
Go away with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. I'm going, ain't I? Her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. I don't want to hear it. I thought I'd seen everything. Well, some free advice. Watch out for Black Eyed Sarah. She's got the clap. Just when I thought I heard it all. Anyway, I should get going. I'll see you. On, Can I help you, sir? Help I, I do all I'm I looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid-twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. Like I said, as far as I know, they're in 2B. No, no, they're, they're upstairs, room 2B. you, sir. No. Wrong room. No harm done. <clears throat> Join me. I'm a Chelonian. Have you read our book? No, I was just leaving. the other guests, sir. They paid for the room up front, so I didn't ask any questions. No trouble now, please. Oh, get the hell out of here, will you? Sorry. Wrong room. to hit her, you goddamn animal. Come here! I paid for nothing. Think you two could stand me? 
talking now, huh? What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him? Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. I hope, uh, everything's okay up there? It's after you. <laughs> this isn't one of those ladies first situations. Thank you, Arthur. On, I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched <sighs> me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, now. Hey. Who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get! I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Please. Yeah. Just following it. You stay away from me! Get back here, right now! Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in Blackwater. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. Now please pull me up. Please. I'm begging you.
Am I glad to see you? Here's your horse back, friend. Oh, you really were just borrowing it. Appreciate it. Hello, sir. You've been the cause of enough sorrow around here. Listen, you won't get no trouble out of me. Welcome back. Hello again. No, oh, it's uh you. Yes, it is. Last time I checked. I I really don't need any more trouble. I didn't come to make any. I was just protecting a lady. Well, all behind us now, I suppose. So what is it you need? A, a bath, perhaps? Hi there, ma'am. How's your health? I sure been better. Howdy. Have a look around. All right, then. Let's have a look. Can't hurt. Someone might want it. Good doing business with you. Hey, mister. Hello. Might as well be friendly, I say. Yeah? All the best. See you around. Hi, right, folks. Nasty piece of work, civilized this time, friend. Hey there. Mister? Who's this then? What are you waiting for? Hey, partner. Well, why doesn't that surprise me, none? Mister? Out of the way. Ah, can't be bothered. <laughs> Don't poke a mean dog. Hold up a minute. Hey, you. You stink a coward. Move it. Yeah. I'm sorry. Teller just told me there's more whorehouse buildings in the hall right here, boys. Place is going to hell. Take it easy. You're just a waste of time. Hey, can I speak to you a second? No way I'm stopping for you. Hey, let me see that ugly mug.
you ugly bastard. You're getting old. Old and kind of sad. No wonder they all leave you, you sour-faced idiot. You ain't fooling no one. 